Okay, guys, it is official. We are back. I needed time. <laughs> I needed time to figure out what I was going to do, how I wanted to move forward with this channel, if I want to move forward with this channel, and if I did want to move forward with this channel, what this channel would look like moving forward. So we're doing things a little different over here from here on out. I do have some hauls for you guys coming up that are really good. I'm not going to promise vlogs because although I do love vlogging, sometimes I forget to pick up the camera. So I might do quick 60 second videos just to show you or two minute videos just to show you what I did throughout the week. And when I can remember to give you a full vlog, I will do that. But a lot of times you will probably just see hauls on this channel because... <laughs> Because I'm on a mission, my life is super busy. And like I said, a lot of times when we're in the moment, I'm forgetting to pick up the camera. And it's not that I want, don't want to, it's just that I'm forgetting. But we're back. We're back with a budget. We're back with a whole new budget. We're back with a different type of budget. So um, we're not going to be doing the budget you're used to me doing. We're not going to do a bi-weekly paycheck breakdown. I will be giving you a sum of everything that needs to be done within that month at the in the beginning of the month, <coughs> excuse me. And then at the end of the month, we'll see how we came out at the end of the month. Did we make progress? So, uh, <laughs> yes, there's going to be a lot of changes, but they're good changes. I just, I want to kind of limit the time I am on camera. And I feel like 10, 10 to 15 minutes should be enough to break down a bad budget. And if I can do it less than that, I will. Like this intro has already been two months just trying to explain to y'all what's been going on. I've been enjoying being married. I've been enjoying, a lot, well, a lot of you guys know we got married. So we, I've been enjoying being a wife. Um, was a girlfriend, was a fiance, now I'm a wife. So I've been enjoying that. And I've just been enjoying living. I've been um, enjoying reconnecting with family. I've just been enjoying all kinds of things. But I will say I'm back. I'm better. I'm ready. Um, and it's going to be great. It's going to be great. So without further ado, because I don't want this video to be just about me coming back. <laughs> we're going to get, we're going to tap into May's budget. So I am going to start off with the to-do list for May. So for May, we're going to put something on our vacation, whether it's $75, I at least always try to at least put at least $75 on there. And also starting June, I'm going to start paying on the excursions and stuff that we're going on. But I at least try to put something on the vacation because uh, we're going on a cruise. I'm not going to tell you when, but we are going on a cruise. Um, I need to order items for my niece's graduation party. She wants to have her graduation party down here. So I was like, okay, we're going to barbecue, but I didn't want her to just walk in the house and just see there's no decorations. There's really no celebration. There's just food. So I wanted it to be d decor. I wanted her to feel like she's being celebrated. I want the signs, the balloons. I want all of that for her graduation party. So we're going to, she's going to be down here for four days celebrating her graduation. So shout out to you, Jayla. I, Amy is so, so proud of you. Um, and pay on after pay. I'm almost done paying on after pay. I really, I've already paid one payment for the month of May. And then after that, I only have one more payment left and then I'm done. I am trying to go on a mission of not using any pay as you go things or any 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 type of credit cards for the rest of this year and that is going to be hard but hey you got to do what you got to do unless it's absolutely positively necessary i will not be using them um goals is this the goals for me is to basically save minimize my eating out and low buys which is going to be easy for me because we're starting to cook more at home and i am starting to pack my lunches to work versus me having to order food at work it got to the point that even when i was packing my lunches to work i was still ordering food so i have i have to break that because i am also on a weight loss journey trying to get healthy trying to stay healthy trying to lose a couple of pounds so i am on that type i am on that journey for myself i've started working out i've started started um, watching what i eat 
the things I consume on a daily basis and just really um, taking better care of myself. I've incorporated a new skincare regimen, everything. So I'm really on a whole different page. Um, savings and sinking funds. The personal savings is for the month of May is $800. That is our goal. And then emergency fund is $100. I had made that a car maintenance fund, but I'm like, no, that needs to just be strictly an emergency fund just in case there's something that needs to be done. Repairs done for home, repairs done on the car, um, emergency bill that comes up that we weren't expecting. That just needs to be an emergency fund. Um, so let's talk about the personal savings. The reason those are the only savings and sinking funds are because we, as you got, well, you guys probably don't know, but we just recently purchased another car. We just purchased another car and I decided that, well, we both decided that we needed a second vehicle. So within us deciding that we needed a second vehicle, that second vehicle will be cash because this car has a note on it. We don't want to do two notes. I'm always thinking about in the event that something happens to one of us, one of us is going to have to cover all these bills and we don't want to have to cover two car notes. So that I just feel like since we're paying on a car note on one, we're going to pay cash for the other one. The goal is to save at least sixteen to eighteen thousand dollars to got to get or to purchase a nice car. I need a twenty twenty two and up. So in order to get that, I know I needed to save sixteen between sixteen eighteen thousand to get the type of car I want. So that is what we're currently doing. So that's why there's so much going into the personal savings right now. The major money goal is to save a thousand. So although totally for the savings and sinking fund for the month of May, there's nine hundred dollars being saved. I actually want to save a thousand if possible. OK, so budget, the total income for this month is four thousand and twenty four dollars. The total bills and expenses are two thousand four hundred and one. The debt is three hundred and fourteen. Left over was one hundred and thirteen. I did utilize that one hundred and thirteen dollars already. I bought fire sticks for all of our TVs because we needed them and they're jailbroken. So we have cable. Um, on our fire sticks in the home and I don't pay anything hardly for them every month. Um, which I think I do need to incorporate, um, that bill in here. So I'm going to just put that in here as a side note really quickly. So hold on. And it's $14.98 a month. Okay. And that gives us all the cable channels, pay-per-view, movie channels, sports channels, every channel that you could possibly get in cable or direct TV. If you got the whole package, that is what we have for $14.95 a month versus me paying almost three, four hundred dollars in cable a month. I'll pay $14.98. OK, so bills and expenses. The rent is one thousand and one dollars. Um, just energy is one seventy five. Xfinity Mobile is four sixty nine. Now that bill should decrease after June. After June, I think it should increase by a hundred dollars. And you're probably like, why is your bill so high? I literally have two of my children on there, plus their insurance for their phones, plus me and my husband's watches, which I ended up actually giving my daughter my Apple Watch. I have insurance on those watches, so they're paid off. Then my son, my other son, he had his phone on there, but he doesn't have service, but I still have to pay on the phone. Then I have my personal line and my business line as far as phones go. And I have insurance on both of those phones. So that is why that bill is so high. Um, let's see. Where was I? Oh, the Xfinity Internet. It went up from $71 to $94. I'm expecting it to go up a little bit more. I'm not sure how much more, but I am expecting it to go up probably a little bit more. Center point is $56. Canva is $14. At first I was debating, do I really need the premium? But I like the premium. I like the options of using different um, backgrounds. And um, it, it, I love the AI features and things like that. It helps with editing and things like that. So I am going to keep Canva. Car insurance went down significantly. Even though we just bought a new car, it went down really, really 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 good it went to 194 dollars and we were paying 294 capital one 25 capital one silver 25 capital one savoir 25 mission lane why do i have savoy savoy mission lane is 25 as well youtube 
YouTube went up because I am no longer a student in school. So it is $22 vacation. Like I said, I'm paying, putting 75 on that after pay. I only have two, it's $225 for the month of May, but I only have a balance of a 125. Um, my nails, I say a hundred dollars, but I think it's not going to cost me nothing but 50 because I have learned to do my own nails. Now I do not pay nobody to do my nails. I do my own nails. Now the only thing I need help with, cause I'm sorry, I'm not that flexible. <laughs> I need to, um, get my feet done and like, you have to have a steady hand in order to do your feet. And for some reason I could do my nails just fine, but I cannot do my feet. So hubby is, I really could take that out of there because hubby's actually paying for my feet to get done this weekend. Um, myself, I'm paying myself $2.95. Apple watches, the insurance on them, I'm paying $11 because that even though I have the Apple watches on my account, the insurance is separate. June's rent because we needed to take um from our income of at may to cover june's rent just so we can save what we're trying to save in june because i think in june we're literally trying to save six sixteen hundred dollars but we'll talk about that in june but we needed two hundred dollars the fire stick like i said was 14.98 so that is what that is looking like as of right now um also so we do have our to-do list i am making strides in this to-do list guys um, I did finally finish, finally finish my downstairs bathroom. So I got the wallpaper for the bathroom. It is done. I just need to get little smaller trinkets and little decor for it. And then I'm done. But the wallpaper as part of it is finished. I got the silverware. I got the pillows. I did have a bedroom rug, but I ended up getting the wrong rug and I did not like that rug. And I think that rug started getting mold. So I ended up getting rid of that rug, which I was really disappointed in myself because I pay. We paid two ninety three for that rug, but it wasn't the correct. I hate shag rugs in my home. Do not put a shag rug in my home because I like to vacuum and clean my rugs. And it just wasn't ideal for our home, especially because we have, even though it's just us, it's high traffic. We're always moving. We're always somewhere in some part of the house. So I do have to get another bedroom rug, but I think I'm just going to get the ones that sit on the side of the beds because it's really just for when we got the bed and our feet hit the floor. We don't want to hit it and it's cold. We want to have time to put our slippers on. Um, and I need to get the grad decor and I still need to get a suitcase. I still need to get a bathroom rug. Um, I haven't decided on a color scheme for my upstairs bathroom yet. Right now I just have a white and black marble get naked shower curtain. I don't really have a theme for that bathroom yet. Even though like mo most of the decor is black and white, I don't know what I want to do as far as rugs. I don't know if I want to get one custom made or I just want to get a simple black rug and call it a day. I'm still deciding on that. So yeah, that is the to-do list. That is everything that's going on in May. Like I said, I will come back at the end of the month to show you how we've done, if we made progress. Uh, right now, what we have saved, as far as my personal, just to run numbers, so you'll know what it's looking like in the beginning of the month and the end of the month. Right now, we have $1,710 saved. And in the car, in the emergency fund, we don't have anything saved up saved up as right of right now so by the end of this month i am planning to have over two thousand and some dollars saved in the personal savings so we'll check on the progress of that at the end of the month but i am back guys um if there any if there's anything you want to see on this channel um please let me know i am trying to get hubby to start doing some cooking videos because he's an amazing cook he is the cook of our home i cook every now and then but he's the real cook in our home and I'm trying to get him to do some cooking videos. So I'll see if I can talk him to talk him into that. Um, but if there's anything that you would like to see on this video, on this channel, please don't be shy. Let me know. Um, and I'll try to bring it to you guys, but I am going to get out of here. I hope you enjoyed this budget breakdown for the month. Remember to think smart, spend smarter and have fun planning it all out. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.